Today I'm going to show you how to hem curtains. Whether you've made your own, like mine, or whether you bought them from a store, hemming your own curtains to the exact length for your windows in your room can give them a custom-made look. Now, I personally love the look of floor-to-ceiling curtains, which is why I've made mine this way. I've hung mine to the ceiling, and now I need to hem the bottom so that they come exactly to the floor. If you're using store-bought curtains, you're going to have to take your old hem out. To do that, you're going to need a seam ripper, and you Go on the back side of your seam, rip out every so often, cut the thread, maybe every four or five stitches, cut the thread, all along your seam, and then you should be able to pull it open. and then you're gonna iron that flat. To hem my curtains, first I pin them to the exact length they need to be. So I pull the curtain straight down, exactly where I want it to be, fold it up, and put a pin in. A few inches over, make sure it's going straight down, fold it up, and put the pin in. Now it's important that it's straight down from the bottom because if I pull diagonally one layer or the other, it may make it too long or too short. So it has to be pulled straight down from the top, folded and thin. Many people hem their curtains before hanging them, but when I've done that, they're always a little off. So I hem my curtains while they're hanging up and they always turn out perfectly, exactly the length that I need them to be. So every once in a while as you're pinning, you want to step back and make sure it's coming to the right length as it hangs by itself. And this looks pretty good. So now we iron. Now as I iron, um, I keep my curtains hung up so that the curtain rod holds the weight of the fabric and then I can just move this lower part of the fabric over as I iron. So I can't just hem the curtain like this because this is a raw edge and all these little threads will show and get worse and come off. I need to fold down this raw edge. The easiest way to do this is just to fold it in half, like this, and then iron it. Although, it looks more professional to have big hems that are all exactly the same height. So instead, I'm using a ruler to measure the height I want in my hems, which is three and a half. You fold it down, right at three and a half inches, and then iron it. Now I measure the next section. You can choose which way you'd like to fold it, in half or to a certain height. So as I iron each section, I put pins in. You can wait until you iron the whole curtain and then put the pins in then. I just find it easier since I have the section out here nice and neat, all folded. For the ends, I first fold the fabric all the way to the end at three and a half inches. Well, except that last little fold. And iron it to press the crease in. Then I fold the side in so it exactly measures the side hem I already have in that little thread and iron the whole corner and now I stick a pin in it it's all ready to hem now I make sure the curtain is the right length and looks how I want it is it even across the bottom does it just kiss the carpet now the times to make any changes you want now I start sewing. 
You can take the curtains off, but the stitch is pretty simple and I find putting up the curtains again is a lot of work. So normally I would hem just sitting here behind the curtain and sewing, but so that you can see, I'm gonna put the hem up here on my cube. Thread your needle with about two feet of thread any longer and the thread will get knots and kinks as you sew. Any shorter and you'll be constantly re-threading your needle. And we're going to tie a knot on the longer end. Just a simple knot. Okay, we stitch through on the back of the fabric, not the front. This is just to get the knot to hold and the knot's holding. Now I'm going to go through the front fabric and then through the fold of the fabric and the smaller I make this stitch the less it will show on the front. And then I go about an inch, two inches over, stitch through that front fabric just a little bit and then through this fold to hold it on there and again a small stitch and I'm going to loop it under this thread just to make it a little more secure. Pull it tight. I don't want to pull it super tight because that would gather up my fabric. I want it just tight enough that it lays flat. So again, I go about two inches over, stitch through this front fabric, and then up through the fold of the fabric. Fold the needle through and loop it under this thread and pull it across. When you get to the point where you don't have very much thread left, do your final stitch and then we're going to tie a knot. We did before, a little loose there right next to where the thread came out. I do a little stitch there to make a loop. Back through the loop. Hold tight. We have our knot. Now to end the thread, I'm sorry to end the line. I'm gonna stick it in through the corner, not out through the front. The needle's not coming through the front going through the middle of these fold, this fold, and then I pull it out here. And then I can take the needle off. And I'm going to clip my thread just barely there where it comes out. And then kind of wiggle it back into the fold so it's hidden in that fold. Now when I get to the end of my curtain, I'm gonna do a small knot by doing a small stitch and sewing through the loop, pulling it tight. And then I wanna sew this part so it doesn't I'm undone. So I'm going to sew down here and so I don't really want to go through the front because I don't want stitches going down. So I'm going to try and go through this fabric and not that fabric. So just this fabric, stitch, and then through this side hem, I'll tie one more knot. the loop, pull it tight, and then again I want a little bit of thread. So I'm going to go through this fold of fabric here. So there will be a little bit of thread inside there. And I'm going to put it there. Take my needle out. That's all finished. I'm going to iron it one final time because I found with sewing projects the more you iron your project the better it turns out looking. Final ironing, we'll set the stitches and then I'll be finished. And here's my finished curtain. Floor to ceiling, custom made curtains. I hope you've seen as I've made this curtain how simple it is to hem your own curtains. Now, I just need to hem my other one. Please go to my blog, simplepracticalbeautiful.com for more home project ideas.